Tonight on Big Brother, Ryan's hot tip. It was just stupid. Dead set stupid. Bree's hot pick. I think it will, the final three will all be boys. And one hot clip. <laughs> Because there won't be another one till here now. I'm a big A. It's the morning after the double eviction, and Paul marks the departure of Ashley and Monica on the deck calendar. Oh, how little Ashley's going. Here we go. B, W, M, A, cross. Ten evictions. Yeah? We've come a long way, baby. Eleven, mate. Eleven. Eleven and one falsy. Oh, including Violetta's. Yeah. yeah, she's in there. <sighs> oh, poor mm. Ash. She just stood up and just looked. She was like... Wasn't she shocked? She was. God love her. I, I was shocked, let alone her. Mm. I think that's the most shocked anyone's ever been. Yeah, because she just... Uh, it took a few seconds to hit her. She stood up and just said, I can't believe it's me. Is that what she said? She said I can't believe it's me. I'm leaving my home. That's what she said, I'm leaving my home. But, like, she obviously hadn't prepared herself at all to go. No. See, I prepare myself Same. all the time. Yes, so do I. She I obviously didn't think she was going to go. But then it's so bad to think like that. You know, like, it's not, not bad as in bad. It's bad as in unhealthy. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, she, yeah, she would have got a huge... Oh, I can't wait to see her on the telly. <laughs> This is Big Brother. All housemates to the diary room. Task. Please be our task. Stingray boobs. Sit there. Is he ready? Look at the phone. Housemates. Yeah, Hi. Hey, Blooming boo boo. Good afternoon. Hi. Last night, you were all involved in a conversation in the kitchen concerning the fact that one of you is going to be a millionaire. This led to a discussion of the prize money itself, in particular, that it would be much better idea to split it five ways. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Big brother has on numerous occasions warned housemates not to talk about such issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, Big Brother suggests you read the housemate guidelines. Yeah, I've read that. Which states oh. any packs to share or split oh. yeah. the prize money between housemates are against the rules mm -hmm. yeah. and may result in the prize money being withdrawn altogether. Yep. Okay. Housemates, you are walking a very fine line. Consider this a final, formal warning. From now on, there is to be no discussion of the prize money at all. Mm -hmm. That is all. Thanks. Okay. Good on. Man, I thought we were getting a task. Now, since last night, of course, full on drama, I did want to ask you guys, there was a bit of shock after watching the, the messages from the evictees. Oh, no. The housemates are gathered on the lounge, but across from Gretel at the start of the nomination show. But Monica left an interesting message for Ryan. Didn't Ryan, would you like to sum it up for us? I was very flattered, but yeah, I was in a little bit of shock. But you would have been relieved too, because the last week in the house, you couldn't really communicate that much, and then she left you that final loving message, which Bree seemed to find vaguely hilarious. And why was that, Bree? I look. I just would have done it differently. I, yeah, that's all. All right. Well, we're going to come back and have a chat a bit later, but oh. of course that will be with the nomination oh, news. Boy, you can just imagine what they've shown. Yeah. Oh, this is Big Brother. G'day. You're free to leave. 
of what you've been saying after that. They just wouldn't oh, be. Mate. Oh, that was shy at all. No, you and Monica care. are going to have a one on one <laughs> They are too. Two women enter, one woman leaves. <laughs> what? Me going, what an idiot! <laughs> Oh no. Let's get ready to rumble. Oops. <laughs> Discussion continues about Ryan and Monica. Mate, I was nearly going to say then when she goes, you find it hilarious. Uh, when I went, oh, I'd just do it differently. I was nearly going to go, I just hope Joe's out there waiting for her. No, like, as in, yeah. in a nice way. Like, I just hope he's there. Like, because I wouldn't be. Hey. You two have been having a fight when we get out of this. I was annoying me that much. You think she's an idiot? I do think she's an idiot for it, the way that she behaves. But she doesn't behaves. annoy you. Huh? <laughs> but she doesn't annoy you. She doesn't annoy me. Mm. I think she's an idiot for the way that she went about things. That's all. Different between being an idiot and annoying someone. She's usually an idiot. It annoys you. But she's an idiot to herself. Do you know what I mean? Like, she does stupid things for herself. She stuffs herself up. Yeah. I don't think she does it for herself, I think she does it to herself. Yeah, that's she what I mean, sorry. Like, to herself. Mm. Distractive. Mm. Absolutely go and do that to yourself. Well, she's got a lot of answering to do. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, that's it. She's oh, well. Damn she's done. She's done, dug a grave. I think she has. Oh, well. She's I just, trouble. I just keep laughing every time I see the guy. Hey, see you later, everything will be right. Joe will be out there. And then I saw that and went, hey, Joe will be out there. But not for long, lady. <laughs> not by tomorrow. It's all over. By the sounds of it, it's sort of what she wanted, I think. Exactly. She would have gone she through She care anyway. She's a pretty smart girl. Yeah. Well, obviously she's not. She's doing it for a reason. But she's in love with she him. She said to us she's so in love with him. She's been going on the whole time about how in love with him she is. But she's, I mean, she's obviously not. Obviously not. To even f*** at anyone else, I don't think that you're in, like, to even have those thoughts. She says she's been very distracted with the past relationships, though. Mm. She's had. As she many finds bad, guys. She's had more shocking relationships than what I have. She's had bad ones, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it just blows you away how she could just something like that, something little. Mm. Like it sort of at the start, it was a bit like, oh, what's going on? And I had a chat to her and said, look, nothing's, look. Nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to try anything. And we, so I sort of avoided her just for that fact, and then we sort of agreed, yep, no worries, sweet. And that was it, and then she came out with that, just to leave. Yeah, I know. Mm. Doesn't bother me. No. Because the country knows that I've told her that there's nothing going on. Gotta have them, gotta have all these different stories. Well, as long as it's got nothing to do with me, I don't care. No, well, you're involved a little bit. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even bother me that much, does it, yet for being an idiot? Yeah. Doesn't bother you. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm saying the Monica situation doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. Care, it's not my relationship, she's stopped. It's hers. She nearly took Ryan away from me. Yeah. Come on, we all know you had something going for Ryan before Monica stepped in. Ages yeah. ago. Two, three people. Even if it was make believe. Just a minute. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only action in the house. There's only five of us. The show went with it. So we yeah. have to Burger back it up. Look, look I admit to the country, talks. I'm in love with Fryzy. The two like they already know. Fryzy, you've just turned out to be the star, mate. Woo! Wee! All us chicks just Total falling all over you. The star of BB4. <laughs> just, just not us. Not Ryan. <laughs> If you don't tip, I wouldn't be waiting. No, no. But you'd have to expect in three weeks' time, Fraz, that she's going to have a crack if she's single, ain't isn't she? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll give you that tip, mate. Nothing's going to go on. Yeah. It'll push her away. Oh, for sure. I can tell you right now. Lucky, because Brie was going to hold you back. Because Brie wants a crack at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see you doing that too. So you're over her, mate. Oh, yeah, no, look, mate, it's not... It's not you? Yeah, it's... I think she's totally gone about it the wrong way as well. I said to her, look, when I come to Sydney, we'll catch up for a drink, yeah, blah, blah, blah. She's obviously thought, you know, something that might happen, but... It's not on my priority list to go see her straight away. Yeah. Got your boys. I'll go, to, I'll go to Sydney all the time, I'll go over, I'll probably catch up for a drink, but... That'd be it. I'm, I'm not going to be going...
I've got to go see her. I've got to go and catch up with her. You catch up, you catch up. I'm not making an effort. Oh, well, the conversation's been very serious tonight. Bree's been very serious the last couple of days about it. <laughs> yeah. And made it very clear when she left. What? Made what clear? The, how you felt. Only because she sure came out she and bloody an said it. Only because she came out and said, said a couple of cool. Because, mate, if she hadn't, I would never have said a bad word against her. Well, she did it the first time. You didn't say anything. Last night was just way... Mm. It was a whole nother level. It's just weird. Mm. I still can't get my head around it. It was just stupid. Dead set stupid. See, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've really wasted too much time talking about it already. Yeah. Come on. Big Brother is about to announce this week's nominees. This is Big Brother. There are three nominees for eviction. Paul. Paul Lee, where's your grain of salt? I've got any. Ryan. <laughs> Catherine. <gasps> what? You would. What? What? Brain gets another week off. What? <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah, you're in for another two weeks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have a drink. I can go away. Okay, do me a. I have to wait. I'm scared. <laughs> Open your mind. I'm scared not to be not like. Let's go have a couple of brews. And get ready for Sunday to rumble. One of the boys might be leaving. I think it looks like it. I it? think so, Fryzy. It looks so, Where son. the lads is going? Ooh, dear. It looks like it indeed. <sighs> I'm, so, I'm just standing in the bathroom going... You can't believe it, can you? No. You're a stay at Bree, mate. You're top I'm sitting four. here going... <laughs> I'm sitting, I've been the whole time you've been in there, I've been going... <laughs> Hope you don't want to go to the toilet. Why? It's it... a really big thing to think you're in here for another two weeks wow. with this small amount of people. You're in here for sure. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey. <laughs> I thought it was going to be all the boys then. I'm up against two big ones, I'll give you that tip. You'll be right. You'll nah, be right. That's good. Two big ones. Kath and Paulie. Yeah, I know. You better not go on Sunday, girl. I'll be coming out to drag you back in by the hair. <gasps> you could be here all by yourself. You'll be very fine with the three boys. No. What, okay. playing nails? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you want some frizzy? That is a bit thick, isn't it? Mm. Trevor, do yes. you realise... Do you, I'm sure you do, but I'm going to point it out anyway. Do you realise that you're the only housemate to have never been nominated? Yeah. No, I haven't. You yep. haven't been nominated You've by You've never been nominated by your housemates? No. Oh, I could probably have been. That's a no, fake fight. Oh. Um, unless like, you have been in the last yeah. two weeks, but I doubt it. Mm. You're the last one to have not been nominated. That's pretty good. And that's, that's more than all right. I like that. It's a pretty good title to have, better than I was evicted twice. <laughs> I'd like that. No, I'd well, like that nominated too. I'd like that weeks? too. Got evicted, come back, and you made it to 85 days now. Yeah. How good's that? Yeah. Pretty good. Cheers.
Good girl. Better not leave me this week, Kate. Well, that's a good possibility. Even Ryan was worrying. He goes, oh, I'm up against two big guns. Me? I don't think so. Oh, no. He does look worried, actually. He He's does. gone he quiet. Does not hit you, didn't he? He's I know, gone understand. really quiet. We'll get back in it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah He's up against my own pa. Well, we could have a week to die, son. Mmm. Wouldn't that be good? Mm-hmm. Uh, both had a good ride. Both had a good ride. Mmm. You'd have to doubt very much that we'd be both here next Monday, wouldn't you? Mmm. We're too similar, mate. I know, I know. I know. And if we are... It's a miracle. I would say. Hi. I just thought I'd come in and have a bit of a chat. I've been laughing and giggling to myself for the last hour or so because I'm absolutely gobsmacked by how the last week or so has um, played out. I can't believe that I've gone from being nominated five weeks in a row to being evicted, to being put back in, um, to surviving the next week, which I honestly 100% thought I would go in, um, and now not being nominated and being guaranteed to being here until eight days from the end. Um, I think it will, the final three will all be boys. Um, there's a possibility I could be here till the last weekend, but in my mind, there's absolutely no possibility of being here, being the last one here, no way. Over the weekend, the housemates produced their own music video. After editing the clip, Big Brother treats them to a premiere screening. Oh, 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 oh,
just wanted to come in here and sort of um, sort of been thinking about uh, last night and I'm pretty aware that uh, when I leave this house that uh, I'm probably going to get a barrage of questions regarding Monica. You know, the, the housemates were asking me about it a little bit tonight and, um, you know, it was a bit of a shock to me last night when I found out uh, who goodbyes. I, I think Monica is an amazing girl. Um, and, look, I was very, very flattered with what she said, but also, to be very honest, I was a little bit disappointed because I've always said to Monica that uh, even though it's such a good trait that she has in being honest, I think sometimes she can be a little bit... a little bit brutally honest. You know, it's hard, especially the last night and that, to sort of hear the housemates in the house sort of uh, bag her a little bit with what she said. And sort of I agree in a way, but, you know... She was a little bit worried, but she was, you know, happy that nothing happened in here with me and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden she sort of backflipped. She had a chance to prove that and she backflipped at the last second and in her goodbyes. So really the only thing I'd want to know is why, why did she do that? What, what does she want to get out of that? Like, what did she want me to think more now that something's going to happen on the outside? Or I don't know what she was trying to get out of that, it, it confuses me quite a bit. Is there anything else? There isn't, BB. You have a good sleep. Thank you, Ryan. Tomorrow on Big Brother, the girls can't wait for the new task. Hey, I know. Let's play on the girls' insecurities and we'll make a task out of it. Yeah! This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.